Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Public Coin, and today I have the uplifting opportunity to speak to you about death and taxes. So for those of you who are not expecting to hear about death today, talking about coins, uh, you may be curious as to what I mean. Are we talking about death tollers? What are we talking about here? Uh, no, we're actually talking about estate planning a little bit, but before I say anything else, just know that if you are doing actual estate planning and looking into some of these things we're going to talk about, do uh, seek legal advice and accounting advice. Uh, I am not an estate planner and I am not an accountant, but what I can tell you is that I can tell you things from a very practical standpoint of what it's like to walk through people who have had to sell their own coin collection or who have had to have a loved one sell their coin collection. And one of the things that um, I have the, I don't know, I guess you'd call it a privilege to do is to help people who have come in and they say, uh, you know, Ben, this is my daughter. Um, I have cancer. And when I pass, she's going to come and see you. And it's, it's uh, a very humbling experience. And I want to let you know that it's important for you to think about this at least at some point in time before it's too late. Because, you know, you want to make sure that you're giving a gift of love to your family as you pass on. And, you know, one of the things that you can run into is that you actually don't have a lot of friends or family that necessarily collect coins. So if you have a brother or a son or someone who collects coins with you and you can just leave the coins to them, well, that's a fantastic gift that you can give them in your estate. But for a lot of people, they're planning on just giving their coins to someone in the family. And that someone in the family, if they're not a coin collector, is very likely to liquidate the coins. They're likely to sell them. So the things that you should know is that you should have some level of education provided for the individual who is going to be liquidating the coins. They need to have some idea of what's valuable and what's not valuable. They don't need to know exact details, but you can say, hey, box A, these coins are all the valuable ones. Everything else is just kind of stuff. So rule number one is to make sure that you actually give them some education. Rule number two is no surprises at the funeral, right? No surprises at the reading of the will. Let them know ahead of time. You gotta let people know, hey, this is what what's gonna happen with these coins. Uh, don't don't be mysterious about it and clouded about it. And you don't wanna surprise somebody uh, with the responsibility of taking care of these coins because they're not gonna know what to do. And I see this very frequently we have people very frequently come into the coin shop who have coins for sale that they inherited and they don't know a nickel from a dime. And it is the type of thing where you have to walk with them and educate them as you go along. But, you know, they're in a real tough spot because not only are they dealing with the emotional loss of you, now they also have to try to figure out how to sell coins. And oh, by the way, have you ever used the internet? Have you ever looked to see what the answers the internet gives? Yeah, it's not good stuff, people. So, um, one, educate, you know, two, make sure there's no surprises, but three, also, if you have someone you trust, really make sure you pick the right people. And this is a twofold thing. First, uh, someone in your family that you can work with who you, who you can trust, uh, or a friend, but you've got to have someone who you can trust. But also, if you're lucky enough to actually have a local coin dealer that you trust, take them to them, take them to them ahead of time you know, in, make that introduction uh, ahead of time. And it's, it's really, really important to be able to, to, to have that connection because as your loved one goes through your estate and they look at things and they find receipts, they may take it to somebody that you haven't done business with in 20 years because you don't like them. And so just have the conversation ahead of time. Now, all of that being said, the, I think, more practical thing to do and more difficult thing to do is to sell them yourself. Now, this is difficult for a couple reasons. One, you don't know when you're gonna die, right? But one of the things that we talk about here is having some type of a plan and purpose with what you're doing. You wanna have an idea of where your collection is headed and, and how, you've, how you're moving forward. So this is gonna vary quite widely. So for those of you who are listening to this and you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, even 70s, and you're in good health, you're thinking, you know, I don't really need to worry about any of that, and that's fine, that's fine. But for some of you, this is something that you should consider if you are either, of course, having some health issues, 
but also perhaps you've just decided I haven't put anything new into my collection for five or ten years and I think I would rather use the money for X or Y, right? It, you, you have a different purpose. Once again, we're talking about having purpose with the things that you do and having intentionality. It is usually best for you, the coin collector, to sell your coins directly to the dealer that you trust or try to handle it all yourself because you have a knowledge level that your family members and loved ones do not have. And so you can make better decisions. Usually you can get a little bit more money that way. Uh, usually a lot more money if your family members take your coins to the wrong place. Because like I've told people before, you know, I've bid on fourteen or $15,000 collections that other shops have offered two or $3,000 for. So I understand that there are a lot of things out there that are bad, <laughs> just bad, terrible things that you don't want to happen to your coin collection or your loved one or the money. I mean, think about a $10,000 difference. Not only that, but it's, it's like a five, six, seven times difference. It's not just the money amount. It's like, you know, multiples and multiples, you know, that your family could have had, uh, you know, luckily they didn't sell to this first company. But so at the end of the day, in the end of your days, have a plan, have a plan ahead of time for what you're going to do with your coins and coin collection, you know, either educate your family, sell it yourself, but also pick out someone you trust to sell to have, have an exit strategy of some kind, uh, for when that time comes. And it's always better to be prepared than not be prepared. Thanks so much for watching guys. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this topic. Uh, if you've even considered it or not, all right, I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.